Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. In today's episode, I want to get into a little something that we kind of stumbled across last episode, and that is this stuff, the crafting, these, these two crafting tables from Easy Crafting. It's actually kind of a cool thing. Um, now, there's a couple things I'm going to need. I'm going to need a crafting table, I'm going to need a little redstone, um, and I'm gonna need a book, and I don't know that I actually have a book. I think I can make a book. Um, yeah, I've got sugarcane, so we're good to go. Um, so, let's try this thing out. Let's, let's see what we think. We've got a crafting table with us. I'm pretty sure I have some redstone in here. Let's try this thing out. Let's see. So, it's supposed to be crafting table, redstone, and a book makes this easy crafting table. And let's just put that guy here. And then it looks like it shows you the things that you can make. And it takes it out of your inventory, which is pretty cool. So, um, if we take this out, yeah, that's, oh, oh, that's, um, okay. So it's a little buggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little buggy, but it works. It works. Um, <laughs> I also want to try out this. This is the one that I'm really excited about. This is the auto crafting table. And the way that this guy works, apparently, according to what I read, is that it will always craft certain items as long as there is a inventory available. Now, we need a little bit of smooth stone for this, which I have. And then we need some redstone. So there we go. We can just go ahead and make one of those. Man, that is actually really easy. I like that a lot. As long as you have the stuff in your inventory, you don't even have to do recipe selection or anything. That's fantastic. Uh, let's take a little bit of a sleep here. Those cows are so loud. I might actually turn down... Let's actually turn the volume of those guys down. Uh, friendly creatures. Turn them down to like 30. That's much better. Much, much better. Okay. So, we've got that going. Um, do I have any food? I do. Okay. So, the reason that I'm excited about this is that I think this will actually allow me to automate stuff. So, if we grab another one of these guys, I think using hoppers and some stuff like that, I think I might actually be able to automate production of things like food, for example, which would be fantastic. Uh, so, that's what we're gonna try to do. Now, I'm gonna need a bit more iron than what I have. Oh, why am I putting my ingots in there? That's not the right answer. That was, um, here, let's just take half and there we go. That's better. Okay, so we'll get that going. Do I have any hoppers already made? I don't believe I do. I'll make some, though. And I'll need some wood. We'll use this willow wood because it's kind of ugly, to be honest. It's a little it's a little ugly, you gotta admit. It's not the best looking wood in the world. But let's make some hoppers. Okay, so now, uh, and actually I need a few more chests as well. Whoa, that opens up a lot of stuff. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. That was not what I wanted to make. Ah, man. Okay, try again. <laughs> let's, let's try this again. Uh, luckily, it's searchable. So, we can make a chest. Like, so wait, trap chest? Oh, you can skip crafting steps. Oh, that's like the most amazing thing ever. Okay. Um, anyway, I digress. So, here's what I'm thinking. What we'll do is... I'll just put down a little bit of this so we can kind of have a spot to work. Because I have a feeling that if we put the auto-crafting table here... Let's just take a look at this. Okay. Always on, craft with signal, craft without signal. Okay, so you can... Okay, cool. So we'll break that. 
Then I'm thinking we put a chest here and there, right? And then we specify the recipe. So for example, uh, and actually let's put a hopper here with a chest in it as well. And let's just see if we go, um, what's something we need? Stock. Stock's a good example. It's just pot and meat, right? So if we grab a pot and we grab some of this meat, we specify in here that we need the, the pot and the meat. That'll make stock, right? Oh, but it spits the, it spits the pot out, which is problematic. So how can we prevent it from spitting out the pot? Hmm. That I don't know. I don't know if we can. That's too bad. That makes me very, very sad. Um, hmm. I was so excited. But it looks like we don't have a way to prevent it from spitting out the pot. What if we were to... Hmm. Let's try this. Let's just make a redstone torch real quick. And let's put it underneath this hopper, which would lock the hopper, right? At least in theory. So now if I put this stuff in here and I put this guy in here, and then we need to specify once again, Okay, it still doesn't keep crafting. So that's basically useless. Uh, it, it won't work for stuff that has returnable items. That is too bad, because I was hoping to automate food production with it, which would have been really, really awesome. Really, really, really awesome indeed. Uh, so I guess if we can find... Well, even, like, the sandwiches require, like, the cutting board. So, I don't know... I don't know how beneficial that would really be. I was really, really hoping to automate food production, because food production is kind of a pain. Um, I, it looks like it's faster to just do this yourself. Although, what we could do is we could put... Hmm. That might be an option. Let's try this. I mean, we'd have to do... No, that still wouldn't work. Because then we could do something like this. But, yeah, I mean, every step, every step basically needs... <sighs> Man. Okay. I'm very disappointed by that. I'm extremely disappointed by that. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll find a use for it at some point. We'll find some sort of item that we need to craft a billion of uh, all the time. And you know, it's still it's still nice to have a basic kind of automation option. There's also this composter thing from the vegan option. I, I don't know really what this does. Can I put, hmm, yeah. I know nothing about the vegan option, like whatsoever. It's not a mod that I know anything about, um, but, I guess for now, I'll just put this stuff in here. Now, some of this stuff we're filling up on really, really, really quickly. So I think another thing that would be really beneficial for us would be to make some storage drawers. Um, and to make those, it's, it's not too difficult. We can just go and make like four of them, I think. Oh, I made four trap chests. Oops, oh well. And then we should be a ooh, storage up oh status upgrade. Here we go. We want to make let's make this uh, ooh actually there's willow drawers cool. Uh, but let's just make 
like four of these guys, the oak drawers. That's not working. This thing's kind of buggy. Kind of buggy. Hmm. Let's convert all of those. And let's go and make two chests. And then if we put those chests here and do this, that will make willow drawers, not oak. Okay. And I mean, that wouldn't necessarily be horrible, but I don't really like the color of the willow drawers. So, like any any other color, I'd be totally fine with. It's just the willow ones are kind of eh. So let's do this, and let's make four oak drawers. And those will hold 32 stacks per drawer. Now, we can increase those. Um, and actually, for that, we could really easily use... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's use the willow to make some sticks. Uh, let's actually make a bunch of these guys. And we'll make a couple upgrade templates? No? Is that not... Oh. I know why. Derp. So, I need four of those and a bunch of those. And then we surround those with sticks, right? Yeah, and that will make these upgrade templates. And then we should be able to use those to make upgrades. So we can increase the amount of stuff that these can hold. Uh, our best bet might be diamond at this point. I mean, diamond's the highest level. Well, emerald's the highest level, but I don't have any emeralds. We do have diamonds. Although not a lot of diamonds. Maybe gold. I haven't really found a use for gold other than... Hmm. Or obsidian. I don't know. Either way, you know what? What we have right now, these storage drawers that we have right now, will actually work just fine for the time being. So let's just put those in there. Let's do one of them as beef. One of them as stock. One of them as soybeans. And one of them as... Eh, that's basically all we really need massive quantities of storage for. So we'll put... Uh, and a lot of this other stuff can just kind of go into here, I think. Because uh, I don't really need it right at the very moment. So let me just get this stuff kind of put away. There we go. Uh, you would go... No, you wouldn't. But you guys would. There we go. And you go in there. And you go in the wood chest. Okay, cool. Uh, so now I can kind of clear out my inventory a bit. And then I should just be able to right-click these. They're, they work basically like, uh, like Java barrels. They're very similar. Uh, in fact, I think the mod was originally inspired by Java Barrels. I'm not 100% sure, but it's something like that. So there we go. Okay, and that will hold all the beef and soybeans and stuff like that, which is going to open up a lot of inventory space for us in our chests because, yeah, we were, we were getting a little dry there. The other nice thing, too, is that we can make... Um, Let's see, is it, it's not the compacting drawer. I think it might be the drawer controller. I believe, Am I, I think it's the drawer controller. Um, and we can basically just put everything into this one thing, which is pretty cool. Now, it looks like we need to use stone for that. And I don't think we can use andesite. I think it actually has to be stone. So, as for getting stone, we can get cobblestone. Oh, and we can get cobblestone that way. Okay, we're good then. So, let's go like that. Um, actually, let's do, let's do that. That way we have an even double stack uh, or a, a double furnace. 
you know what I mean? You, you know what I'm saying, I hope. I, I hope it's not entirely confusing. Sometimes I words, and the words are not, like, sensible at all. Um, I know what I'm trying to say. Now, to make the compacting drawer, which we don't need. This is what we need. We need quartz. Do I have any quartz at all? I don't know that I do. Have I even been to the nether? Yes, I have been to the nether. I just don't have any quartz. All right. So let's go get some quartz. Uh, I'm going to head to the nether. I'm going to get a little bit of quartz and then I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So I went into the nether. I got myself a little bit of quartz. We're doing pretty good. I also found some glowstone while I was in there, too, which is always a good thing. Um, but yeah, that's a good thing. So next thing on the list, I think. Ooh, I'm, I think I'm going to just munch on this real quick. Uh, so now that we got some quartz, we can go ahead and make some. I believe it was comparators we need for this drawer controller, right? Comparators. Yes. OK. And we've got the stone all good to go. So I do need some redstone torches. There we go. And a little, where are my sticks? Sticks, beautiful, awesome. So, come, parator. Let's make two. Okay, good. Now, are they here? They are. And it looks like it did take the necessary stuff. Yeah, because I had more quartz than that. Good. So now I should have everything I need. Oh, I need one diamond. One diamond. Good, good, good. And to make the drawer controller? No? Do I not have the stuff? Stone? Oh, right. Derp. I need a thingy. Um, what should I use? Here we go. That'll work. I'll use that. So we put one of those there. And now I should be able to make the... No? No? Why Why you no work? Fine. I'll... Does it have to be a one by two? I didn't think it had to be a one by two. I thought it could be any. No? No, it does actually have to be a one by two. Okay. Well, learn something new today. Hmm. What do you know? Okay. Well, in that... Oh, and it actually, it couldn't... And it wasn't... Um... Hmm. Let's make... A couple of chests. Because I'm going to need those. And it looks like it has to be one of the vanilla woods as well. It can't just be a random uh, type of wood. So, we'll go... One, two... That should be enough, I think. I think that'll be enough, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we should be able to make the drawer controller. Beautiful. So now if I put this guy here, I believe, let me just double check. We'll take, you know, some of each of these. I can just right click this and it will automatically put them into the right spot, which is great and awesome and amazing. And I'm very happy about that. Um, the other thing, oh, and I did have quartz all along. I didn't even have to go to the nether. Silly me. Oh, well, it's fine. Um, so let me get organized here, guys. I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got that all sorted out. We've got our cows all growing here. And now if I could just figure out a way to auto craft some of this stuff, I may... One thing we may want to do, I could automate the production of tofu, I think, if I made another presser. And pressers are not that difficult to make. So let's just see if I put one of these guys in here. I believe it goes through a total of three steps. Is that correct? Soy milk. And then from soy milk, it goes into silken tofu. So that's two, and then silken tofu, it finally turns into firm tofu. 
So essentially I will need three pressers if I want to fully automate it, which is actually still pretty doable. Um, let's just take a look at pressers real quick. I seem to remember they require a decent amount of iron. Yeah, they need, how much iron have I got? Mm. Not enough for three. That's, well, no, but I've already got one. I think we will have just enough for three pressers. So let's grab some stuff and let's see if we can make some pressers and get this done. I'm just gonna use Willow. Uh, so, can I, oh, I can. I love it. I love, I love this, this easy crafting table. It's like my new favorite thing. Um, just the, the ability to skip crafting steps <laughs> is so incredibly useful. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we want to put this somewhere and I'm, ooh, I've got two hoppers. I need more hoppers. I just realized that. Huh. Okay. Let's think about this for a minute. Let's put our or the stuff away. Um, looks like I may just have to go get more iron. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to go and get more iron. Okay, well, I'll go on a little bit of a mining adventure here, guys, and uh, I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got a number of chests. I've got some pressure plates and some hoppers, or pressure plates. I've got some hopper, or I've got my pressers and my hoppers and everything I think I'll need to automate this. Now, I, wherever we do this, this is not gonna be the permanent location. We're gonna set up a building uh, at some point that will do pretty much all of this for us. However, before I build an entire building devoted to this, I wanna make sure that it actually works. So we're gonna experiment a little bit here and we're gonna see if it does. So let's put a hopper going into that chest. We'll put a presser here. We'll put a hopper going into this presser, which leads into a hopper going into that one. And we're essentially just making a chain of pressers and hoppers, right? Super easy. Uh, this one goes into here, goes into here, and so on and so forth, right? Yes. Now, uh, looks like there's a little bit of soybeans in here that we can use for our test subjects. Another one over here as well. There we go. Let's test that out. Let's see if this works. So in theory, if I put the soybeans in here, they will all feed into this hopper, which will fill up the way it's supposed to, spit it out, and then it ends up here, and then it'll end up here, and ultimately, after a little while, it should end up in that chest. Let's go ahead and take a little nap. Hopefully by the time our nap is over, we'll have firm tofu. That's what I'm hoping. And look at that, it works, excellent. So not the uh, prettiest thing in the world and obviously this is not where it's gonna stay. Now that we know that the concept actually works, we're, I think we're gonna build a little structure devoted to food processing. So there you have it. But I think that we'll have to wait for a later episode because I am out of time for this one, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.